Hello everyone. Today let's look at the shittiest multimeter you can find on the market. This is called the DT9205A. It is a digital multimeter with manual ranging and an absolute toy-like build. It is a toy, it is not a multimeter. So let's take a look inside. Surprisingly they give you a manual which again I taped but I I, I don't think it's accurate because some of the things they say in this are not even there like the temperature and stuff It's bollocks Here are the probes you can see these are a bit loosey-goosey And you see these are not even connected anywhere like this wire. It's loosely held by this solder and Someday it's gonna break apart. It's good to fill it up with epoxy, but you shouldn't buy this anyway. Even if you do fill this up with epoxy, so it, it is a little rigid. Now let's look at the unit. <coughs> As you can see, it's a manual ranging one with a rate. It, it's, it's been rated for uh, 1000 volts, but it is not. It, it can at most take about maybe 250 volts, I guess. Uh, you have a lot of functions here like the capacitor tester and the transistor tester which just the HFE factor of the transistor and it's, ra it's rated that it can with, with, withstand up to 20 amps and that is probably false I don't think it can and it has a continuity tester and uh, ranges for from for the ohms scale it ranges from 200 ohms to 2000 mega ohms and the voltage as i said if there is acdc then there is amperes you can measure the current of acdc and then also the capacitors and the transistor let's turn it on and test the continuity it is non-latching and very fast but scratchy but is very fast. Cheap multimeters have fast continuity compared to the expensive ones. I don't know why. Probably because there is no safety in there. These input jacks have no safety at all. Let's take a look inside. Oh look, it has a rubber shielding. It has a it has a rubber cover like the flukes. They tried to they tried to mimic the flukes. No, this is nothing. It runs on a 9 volt battery, which is under this plastic cover. Oh, would you look at the horrible mold. The plastic, it's just rubbish. And we're in. Wait, we have to take the battery out. As you can see, the Chinese people just um, maybe in some toy factory or in some kitchen, they just put together a team and said, go ahead and don't use the machine. We don't have a machine for soldering these SMD components. Do it with your hands. And they did it with their hands. All of these tiny SMD components are hand soldered. Who does that? You can see there's a current shunt and there is a fuse for the 20 amps scale. There is a fuse for it, I guess. And this is not an this is not an H no 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 wait. This is the this is this one, the f max fused 200 milliamps. They at least said correctly here, but these cat 2 rate and cat 2 rate 1000 volt, 600 volt, these are really not accurate. These are just false claims. And then let's look at it. There is a PTC thermistor here. I put a shrinking tube here on the fuse because I don't think if ever something bad happens this fuse would you know protect me or this is not high rupture capable it's not an HRC fuse this is not ceramic this is glass 
and they blast they if, if something happens if you accidentally put through a lot of current they might just have a blast it might just ruin your day there is a PTC thermistor here and as you can see I myself had to go ahead and solder some of these because this 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 none of this was soldered these solders I had to put them in even these places had no solder absolutely no solder onto them they just put the components bend the legs and put the fuse onto it they didn't even solder it and the buzzer that came with it the twitter or buzzer whatever you call it it was a horrible buzzer and the sound was horrible too so i changed it i put a, a better buzzer here this is a better buzzer and that's about it that's all you see inside what they did is they manufactured these uh, boards and they just made whatever type of plastic body they wanted and you can find lots of variants of this same DT9205A multimeter uh, lots and lots of variants in very cheap price if you want to just uh, try out electronics once or twice or maybe have a small hobby and um, don't want very much accuracy or anything you can buy this but I recommend not to because just a little more price and you can get a lot better multimeter like at least something that that is a that is a branded thing like unity or anything you, you can even get the mesh tech at very low prices that is also very good don't buy this stuff just don't buy it so that's about it inside shitty multimeter see you